welcome back to my channel. I bet you didn't think you'd be seeing me anytime soon. In my brightness. <laughs> Just start with Echo. Just exercising her for the, for the... Oh my God. I'm just exercising her this morning um, because later on this afternoon, we've got a pole work clinic. Um, I've never done a pole work clinic before. And to be honest with you, I've never really done anything clinic based before. So I'm really excited. Um, it's with Cassie Gatsby. She's an awesome trainer. I've had um, a few flat work lessons with her many years ago and um, keep meaning to continue them and you know, it just never happens. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing this afternoon. So I thought, oh, under a badge. So I thought I would start my vlog now so that I could do my introduction and all that malarkey um, while I have time to think about it because um, obviously I'm taking pickles, not Miss Echo. So obviously she starred in a lot of vlogs this summer. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to take pickles. He hasn't been in the trailer since September when we went to the cross country and that ended in, well, sort of tears. But, um, so I'm hoping he's gonna load. I think he will. Um, so yeah, taking him and Gus, we're having a lesson together, just me and Georgia. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Sorry about that. She's just getting a bit keen. Um, so yeah, we're having a lesson, um, just me and Georgia, so that'll be quite nice. Hopefully Pickles won't get too spicy and he'll focus. Um, I did have a flat white lesson the other, uh, last Wednesday, which was really good. Um, just sort of getting to know um, how he was feeling after being out of the school for so long. And um, he actually was really good. And we did actually get our right cantilead, which I was super chuffed about. Um, so my plan for this winter is actually to do some dressage. Not my favorite thing to do, but you know, needs must if I want to go eventing. So that's what I'm hoping to do this winter. And I have booked to go into a dressage competition. So I will try and vlog that as well. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Depends how stressed I get, um, which is probably quite stressed because I'm useless at dressage and always worry that I'm going to get my test. But anyway, that's enough of that. So, um, yeah, that's what I've got to say. What else do I have to say? Nothing very much. So I will catch up again with you a bit later when, um, when it's time to get loaded up and sorted to go to our lesson. Hey everybody, so you might be thinking, I've just started recording again, same but different and all that. Um, so it's actually a different day now. Um, it's actually Saturday, so it is, and we had our lesson on Wednesday. Um, unfortunately, I forgot to um, put the camera going in the process of loading and getting to the venue um, on Wednesday. Um, so this is all a bit of a mix match of me talking. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that, um, yeah, sorry, I forgot to record, but um, take a look at all the clips and then I've already recorded um, my um, ending as such last night. So this is really bad um, organization on my part, um, but I just thought I'd have to whip this bit in quickly for you to uh, for you to just get an idea of what's going on but yeah take a look
direction to go is the left yeah. so he bends on the right and falls out to the left yeah so when you catch him on this outside here that's why all of a sudden when you caught him there he's then like because he's bending a bit more forward because he has to get behind legs yeah and then of course he then has to bend on the left which you find difficult because that can shove the left out there so if you need to bend there that means you have to actually just rotate over here yeah. like doing yeah and then he the left hind leg because it's quite a nasty so I think he goes, well, if I run off of there, which will hold me for that turn, but then we'll fall on the cone, and then you'll hold me even more. So yeah. it's almost like he's, he builds it and puts it in the place so that you do exactly what he needs you to do yeah. for him to get around that turn. But don't panic, if you get to the point where you think, it's going to be all right. <laughs> if he runs the cone over, it's not the end of the world. Get, get off my left leg, move forward. Just the bench stuff on your own. Yeah. <laughs> because they're not tall anymore, and they can get to the point where you almost have to baby them round. But when you get to the fence on a course, which is slightly questionable, you know, like it's maybe a bit of a dodgy stride, or maybe a bit narrower, it might be a bit bigger than you're used to, you need to be able to say to that horse, I need you to sort yourself out here, rather than the horse going, oh, but mum, you always do it for me. So, you know, there are times when you're doing stuff like this in your training, where you say to the horse, you know, I'm gonna relax my arm a little bit, my leg on, sit tall, and you have to deal with what's in front of you. Yeah. Yeah? So that it's not kind of all the time you Work the turn, balancing around the turn, supporting around the turn, especially the left turn for him because he needs to bring his hind quarters to the right. And then once you've supported him, the same thing, similar with, with Guthrie, relax your hands, just say, right, okay. Now you don't drop the hands at him, on him, but if you imagine you've got like a beach ball or a gym ball or something in front of your arms, your hands, and you just 
pushing your knuckles in towards your jiggle. So you're not shoving the hands away. The other analogy is um, a shopping trolley. So when you're walking with a shopping trolley, the shopping trolley is always moving away from you, but you don't shove it up the aisle, you just kind of walk with it like that. So you're never pulling the shopping trolley back to you, but you're always very gently pushing it away. Same thing with the horse, you're saying to them, push the neck out of it, especially him, because he has a real tendency to use the neck. He likes to yeah. hunt you up, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's got a real tendency to go, do you know what? I'm, because if his neck is short, he's going to have to use his back. As soon as his neck goes longer, he has to start using his back. So he's going, oh, it's a bit like us carrying buckets, isn't it? You can carry buckets of water like that, or we can stand up really tall, squeeze our bum muscles, squeeze our tummy muscles, and carry them how we're meant to. But I bet you we all go to this one, we don't carry the pockets. Slowly, so that you're going to release the hands a little bit, but be ready to catch them with the left leg, and be ready and catch the rising rhythm so that the rising rhythm stays low. Otherwise, if you push the hand forward and you're not ready, he's going to push out the side door and then you fall backwards. Where's she going now? <laughs>
So as you will have seen there, they were all very raw clips 
and this is a completely different day so um it all happened very quickly and i didn't even think about getting the camera out again after we stopped videoing the session to finish my vlog and then i've been working for the rest of the week hence you know ooh, didn't mean to have a flash there i mean i've got a top on but anyway um yeah hence this because i'm i haven't long got in from work and you know this anyway by that's by the by um but no i really enjoyed our lesson um it was really interesting to be in that type of environment again and have pickles working because obviously um as time went on you could see he was getting jumpy and um buckaroo in and i think that's purely down to well as you probably would have heard cassie say tiredness and then um frustration with having to still work a bit harder you know he he's like that with anything really if he's getting annoyed or he's finding it difficult and he, and he gets cheesed off with it then he starts you know throwing his teddies out the pram unfortunately nothing dramatic happened there um when he's um having a little buck and a skip he does allow himself to go on the right lead on the right lane right rein so you know it is good because that means that every time he canters correctly he's able to build that muscle up um more and get stronger um so i think over winter i'm really gonna have to do a bit more groundwork perhaps lunge him a lot more um and you would have seen there doing cassie on the ground using the schooling whip to tap him over um so i'm gonna have to do more of that and probably some more trot pulse to make him use himself um so that's probably what i'm gonna try and do anyway um gussie he was he was good um again he he's the type that um sort of if he finds it more difficult he just sort of plows on with it so there was one point there where he just took hold and was gone um, which was quite amusing um but again it was nice to watch him you know do it nicely and do it well and you know use himself because he doesn't he doesn't really like being in the school environment you know he would much rather stick his head up in the air like a giraffe and wrinkle his neck right up and just plow along whereas actually when he is in the school and environment he does work quite nicely so that was really nice to see um but yeah, that's really what I've got to say. I'm, I was hoping to book on to another pole clinic next month, but unfortunately, um, Cassie's had to change dates and the days that both myself and Georgia work. So we're not going to be able to make those. So we're just going to have to keep an eye out for any other clinics and hopefully book on to those and see what what the money pot looks like and perhaps um, book a lesson with Cassie privately and see how we fare with that. But um yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. It's obviously a lot more raw um, than what I would usually um, post. But actually, I think it's good to be able to hear what Cassie has to say. And it obviously becomes a little bit more repetitive um, as we do the exercise a few times. But, you know, that's where you learn. So, yeah, I hope you like this vlog. Um, well, I can't say it's much of a vlog where I'm chatting. But, you know, it's nice to be able to look back on it in the future anyway. But yeah, hopefully I'll have something. Oh yeah, I'm have something to vlog for you because um I'm I've entered the dressage competition um next month, November. So uh see what that's like. But anyway, I'll see you then. Bye!